Hello everyone, so today we are going to try installing WebGuard to a fresh install of Ubuntu. I'm just going to go to Piazza to look at the requirements and instructions. should work let let's first install java open G jdk 8 jre This is almost done. And then we are going to install Tomcat. Same thing. sudo apt get install Tomcat 8. Good. Now that this is installed, we are going to download WebGuard. I should have a link somewhere here. Yes. Copy and paste and go. Yes. WebGuard 5.4.war file. Save link to my download folder and it's downloaded. I'm going to rename this to WebGuard. So I'm deleting dash 5.4. Now that this is here, I can go to my instructions again and I need to copy this to the Tomcat's default folder. Before I do that, uh, just to prevent any problems, I'm going to give sudo chmod r var lib tomcat8 and I'm going to give this 777 permissions so every file there will be automatically writable so now I'm going to copy uh, the folder web code folder to the web apps folder let me extend this extract it here skip and move this to the trash and let's go to the download folder in download folder I'm going to copy web code to var lib tomcat8 web apps folder okay sorry not cd cp web got var lib tomcat web apps okay what did it say Okay, I should copy all of it. Save. I should add a recursive flag to this. So 
now all of this web code folder should be copied to varlib tomcat 8 web apps let's check computer var lib tomcat 8 web apps so here is the web code folder everything seems to be in place so i can move on to the next step which is modifying the tomcat user xml how to do that is given here under this faq let me copy this paste and go so here we need to get this tomcat user xml file copied into the configuration which file should we change so it's given here again conf tomcat user xml let's go to that folder and see what we have there sudo nano so that we can change that file var lib tomcat 8 conf yes and what files do we have there tomcat users tomcat users xml so this file is actually pretty full let's delete all of it because we only need the information that we have given us by the installation manual so I'm deleting everything in this folder almost there okay what do we have here we have the XML file copy and paste good okay now I'm saving this now that that file is saved we should have access to our local host let's check oh last step we should start tomcat service tomcat 8 start let's hope that this works now that the service started I'm just going to go to localhost AD AD web got attack so it's asking me if I have a username and password I'm just going to enter guest as the username and guest as the password and enter now let me check what 
I entered as username nano var lib tomcat8 conf tomcat users x lib format this so that we can see everything easily Saving this, as you can see here, we have a user, username guest, and a password guest, and we have a username webgoat and a password webgoat. So I'm saving this, and I'm going to service Tomcat eight stop. and service tomcat 8 start and I'm going to close my browser I'm going to close my browser and restart it and then I'm going to try my localhost 8080 web got attack again web got web got yes it worked as you can see we have the website here start web got we have all of our options on the left. Your duty is going through every page here and completing the SQL injections and all of the other tutorials. The tutorials have a manual with them in every page. So please complete this.